Welcome to the installation of OpenDSSG. In this video, we will explore the procedure for installing OpenDSSG, including a troubleshooting section to solve some common issues. Download the software using Google. You can just type OpenDSSG, and that will redirect you to the download page. You will go to, open, oh, to the APRI OpenDSS website, and from there, I'll select the link for OpenDSSG. Once the SourceForge site for OpenDSSG loads, just click on the download green button. Once you get the installer downloaded, right-click on the file and select Run as Administrator from the pop-up menu. Sometimes Windows complains about the installer because it has no digital sign. Just click More Info and select Run anyway. Then click on Yes, and the installer will decompress the installation files. After decompressing, the installation process will begin. Here the users can select where to install the program and the required support programs. Then click on Next, accept the license agreement and click on Next. The option for disabling the Windows Fast Start is not required, so just uncheck it. Click on Next and Next again and the installation will take place from here. Once the installation is done, you can check the release notes to see what's new in this version of OpenDSSG. After clicking Next, another two installers will show up, the database and the ODBC driver. First, I'm going to install the database. It doesn't matter which go goes first, but you have to install both. For the database, it's basically to click on Next, leaving the default values. There's one option for copying the connection library FB, FB, FB client on the Windows System32 folder. This operation should be done by the DSSG installer, but just check it in. Check it just in case. Once the installation is done, select to start the server now. For the ODBC installation, the procedure is the same. Just click on the next button accepting the license agreement and leaving the default values and you should be fine. Once done, you can select if you want to read or not the README file. To check if the Firebear database is working properly, go to the control panel. There, look for the Firebear server manager and open it. It should show that the server is running. If not, we will solve it later on this video. There are a couple of issues, there's a couple of issues that may happen when installing the software. One is related to a missing library. If when starting OpenDSSG, I mean, double clicking on the icon that you will see on your desktop, you see an error message like this, it means that the database driver cannot be found in the Windows System32 folder. The driver's name is fbclient.dll. Let's check if the file does exist in Windows System32. I'm going to go there, Windows System32. As you can see, the file doesn't exist. So we can go to C, Program Files, Firebird, Firebird 2.5, and Ben. There you'll find the file fbclient.dll. Just copy this file into Windows System32. You will need administrator privileges to do this. If you try to execute OpenDSSG after doing this operation, it should work. Another common issue is that people sometimes forget to install the ODBC driver. And get the error that I'm going to show on the, on the screen. To solve it, we have included the installers for the database and the ODBC in the folder where OpenDSSG gets installed, which is normally C, Program Files, OpenDSSG. So we just go there. and you'll find the installer for the ODBC. Just run it as administrator and follow the installation instructions. That should solve the issue. Again, do the same procedure, just next, and leave the default values. Accept the license agreement, and everything should be fine. Previously in this video, we talked about having issues with the database server. 
For some reason, when checking the database manager, it appears to be not running. Uninstall the database and then reinstall using the installer provided in the OpenDSSG folder. Make sure that the database manager is running, then the program should work properly. Thanks for watching.